Hey, so we're back, lesson four, and we're continuing on to progress into the minors today. So we looked at the, the majors and with a G, C, D. Those are your majors, that's a G. Then we got. So get your major chords we worked on, we worked on our bar chords. And you guys have been working hard on that. Major bar chords, minor bar chords. So, you're doing good so far. And I know you've been practicing, practicing, practicing. So just keep up the good work. Please just stay with this. I promise you, promise, if you're willing to work hard at this, you will have all the chords in your treasure chest that you need to play most common songs. Most. So, whether it be uh, Amazing Grace, oh, how sweet sound. It, it just so many songs that you're going to be able to play and sing. Uh, you're going to love it. You are going to love it. You're just going to absolutely love it. Like, Gonna be able to do all that stuff. Uh, tons of songs, secular songs, Christian songs, all kinds of songs with all these chords. So stay with it. Don't give up. Be diligent. Today we're gonna cover minor chords. Last week we went out of major chords, and now we want to go to minor chords. And minor chords are pretty cool chords. You could be playing uh, like a. It's kind of uh, what they would they call the uh, the emotional chord, or the the sometimes it could be the depressing chord. Uh, the, the minor is really cool. It's so so cool. And, uh, just it fits sometimes in the most perfect ways. But so, so we're gonna go over the minor chords. And then today, I'm going to go through this lead pattern. So if you could just uh, look at the neck of the guitar really carefully, and uh, I'm going to show you this lead pattern. It's really cool. It's just, and we'll go over it closely, but this is what we're going to cover today. <laughs> So there you have using the whole neck of the guitar, starting with the, the lowest note, E, on the guitar, and we go all the way up. So 
So we're going to cover that. Um, the lead patterns, very simple, basic lead patterns. This is another one here that goes like this. Just some things you can mess with, like in the key of G, you can play this. Key of A, you can play this. Key of B, you can play this. today um, I'm I teach guitar and I I'm kind of like a hack guitar player but my main instrument is bass guitar but uh, these lessons are about guitar regular guitar if this is a success and we get a lot of turnout we might have a ukulele lesson and after that we might have a bass guitar lesson uh, I just love that people can play music. Just learn music. You never get tired of it. Ever. Okay, so I'm going to put this down, and then I'll pick it up later. But I'm going to walk you through these minor chords. And uh, again, please go back to the other tapes and continue to practice, 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 practice. So taking you over to the chart. Here, where we have our minor chords. And I, I, I kind of laid it out in an alph alphabetical order, even though chords, uh, that they fall into key patterns. They don't fall into alphabetical patterns. But I, I laid it out this way to make it easier for you to just follow it. Uh, I have the A minor. And on the A minor, I have... 1st fret, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 4th fret, and then I have the strings. String 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then I have your finger placement on the frets, labeling which finger to use. Index finger, the ring finger, uh, the middle finger, and the ring finger. So 1, index, 2 is your middle finger, and three is your ring finger. And that's how all these uh, graphs are going to work for you. Please, please um, practice these. You, you've got to know the minors too. You can't just know majors. Although you can play a hundred, hundreds of songs using majors, you really want to be able to, to venture out. Uh, some some of the great venture outs are your F minor and um, your F sharp minor. It's just you just move the bar up one and you got F sharp minor and the F sharp minor is really it's just so awesome when you're playing a lot of songs to use that F sharp minor. Um, so getting into it, we have our A minor. The A minor. If you look at the positioning, an A minor is a very simple and comfortable chord to play. As we look at our A minor, here is the A minor chord. And now you might be thinking, well, I'm not playing it the way this is labeled. The way this is labeled is two, three, four. The only reason I play the two, three, four is so that my finger position is already ready to bar. I don't have to move that finger position. So if you are taking notes and looking at the A minor, just remember 
it's probably as you advance in playing guitar, the two, three, four position is going to be your best bet for um, for being able to advance. And um, and that's the same thing with the E major. The E major, most people play like this. But I play the E major like this. And the reason is, is it's, it's ready for my bar chords. So think about that when you're starting out to try to play these chords so that you're ready to move in, in the advance of bar chords. Because as you grow into playing guitars, you're going to move away from um, open chords. You're definitely going to move into bar chords. It's the same chords. A bar chord. So, A minor. Your B minor. And so, as B minor is a little bit more tricky. There's your B minor. Now, B minor played like this. It's a little tricky. You see it? Now, you can also, like I said, the A minor, you can play a B minor by bar chord your A minor. Or you can do it the way it's written there. So there's your B minor. C minor. C minor is interesting. It's kind of like the B minor. C sharp minor. C minor. B minor. And then there's your B flat minor. See, look, look at my finger position. B flat minor. B minor, C minor, C sharp minor, D minor. So a lot of times when you think of different chords, just by moving your, your hand up the neck, you could move into different chords very easily without moving your hand. So you get the B minor. Now the C minor, same finger position, just on different frets. This is... Your, your index finger on the B minor is on the second fret. On the C minor, your index finger is on the third fret. So those two are very easy to remember. The D minor. There's your D minor. D minor. It's very very easy to play this one. So there's your D minor. You're going to learn it. You're going to know it. You're going to practice it. E minor, easiest chord to play. E minor. F minor, a little more difficult. Because you have to bar the first fret with your index finger. F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, G sharp minor, A minor, A, a B flat minor or A sharp minor, B minor, it just moves on up the neck. And then you have your G minor, remember I said this is G minor, which is true. But then you can also play that G minor like this. I think the G minor played this way with your index finger barring the third fret, three strings, 
and then adding that third string. It's a little harder than just playing the bar to the, to the third fret and your E minor. So you remember here's your E minor? Go up to the third fret. G sharp minor. I think that for me is way easier to play than the way the open chord is. But if you, if you find that this is easier, stick with what works for you. Um, I'm a fan of bar chords because it gets me down the road easier and faster. Way easier, way faster. Less, less brain activity involved with bar chords is just, and I, can, and I can play them all over the neck and get really different sounds. So uh, here's my C sharp minor. And here's my C sharp minor. So there's so many different positions you can play. So as you learn these minor open chords and you know your bar chords, you're going to see how, how the neck works. You're going to see how I can play all my open chords here, but then I can play these same open chords here all over the neck. And that's just a matter of you getting familiar with your bar chords, getting familiar with your fret positions. Again, the, the frets on the E string. Remember, it's E, F, F sharp, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. And we've gone over that the first time into the lessons. It's so important that you learn that pattern. E, F, F sharp, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Oh, that's all the notes. All the notes right there. So if I play an E, I could play every major chord. I could play E, F, F sharp, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E again. And I could play all the minor chords by using a bar chord, and that is E minor, F, F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, A flat minor, A minor, B flat minor, B minor, C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, D sharp minor, and back to E minor, just by bar chords. So learning the bar chords, learning what, where my fret positions are, uh, learning how to play the different bar chords. Uh, again, we went into the, using the A string. You know, we went to the A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, and on up that way too. So going back to that first video, we go over the neck, we go over the bar chords, we go over the, the, uh, the notes on the neck. So you, last week you got the major open chords, this week you got the major, e, e, the minor chords, you have the uh, bar chords. So in, in all reality, you have all the major and minor chords on a guitar in various ways. And um, last week I showed you the capo. So not only do you have all the minors, all the majors on the guitar, but you also have the ability with the capo to change the keys. Changing the keys. Same chords. So we've learned a lot already in just the four lessons we've covered 
Um, now, what I want to do is, uh, you've got this, you can go back to the video, you can go over this and over this and over this, you can, you can pause the video and write your own charts out and uh, have a little notebook where you actually draw these pictures and just pause the video and write out your charts and you just keep practicing and practicing and practicing. Now, last week, and um, I'll just go over the, a couple things from last week. Um, I told you last week that you should muffle your strings and you should play to music. And different drum beats, um, a waltz, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, down, up, up, 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 uh, four, four timing, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, I told you to get used to tapping your foot, or if you're sitting in a stool, you could just rock your knee. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we went over the, the reason why it's so important to just um, keep a beat. Keep a beat. Count off your notes. Count off your notes. Uh, you know, G, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. G, two. And you count off your notes. Count off your notes. Call your notes out. And the reason why I want you to count your notes and call your notes is because then you get familiar that that's a G. D. And after a while, you don't even have to look at the guitar and you know G, C, D, E minor, A minor, F. You just know without even ever looking at your guitar that this is where these notes are located just from being familiar with the guitar. Guitar playing is two things. It's practice, and it's being very, very familiar with your instrument, knowing where your strings are, knowing where, like, knowing where these strings are, where you don't even have to look after a while. You don't even look down at where your strings are. <laughs> familiar with the guitar, getting familiar with, with your notes, getting familiar with your bar chords, getting familiar with keeping rhythms, play all kinds of songs, every kind of song, jazz, reggae, rock, country, just get familiar strumming, and don't be locked in like, well, I only like rock and roll. You have got to strum to every kind of music, all of it jazz, everything. Just turn on music and get used to strumming. Because every type of music has its own feel and its own sway. Uh, there's a sway that goes to music. And so jazz has a beautiful sway. And uh, even country has, a, has a, such an incredible simplistic uh, sway that goes to country. Country music singers been a real close family. So you have all these simplistic, complicated, some are really fast, like Tom Petty's stuff is like really quick moving, incredible songs that he's written. Um, so you just get used to all of the songs and the rhythms, strumming that guitar, strumming that guitar. 
It's a matter of just getting used to that instrument. You just, you do it so much that it becomes part of you. That's what it does. You know, really good guitar players, they basically never put their instrument down. Never. I, the reason why I'm a hack is because I really never put the time into it. I, I just learned enough to, to twang. Um, but, you know, whenever you see a really good guitar player, you know that that person has really put the time in. They've really worked at it. And uh, if you want to be a good guitar player, you can be. It's, it's just a matter of that work. So let me go over uh, a pattern that you can play. Uh, there's a G. And so if I'm playing the key of G, so if I'm playing the key of G, here's a G. Uh, lead progression. So I'm starting out in the note of G. So I'm going to go just learn that first. familiar with that first. So, so once you get used to that, now you're going to slide this finger up two frets. So I just went up two frets. So now that same exact pattern moving down, I'm going to go. down each string. So I've got my first part and the slide. it down, putting them together, now I'm going to do it slow and you come, you come with me, ready? Slide it up two frets. Slide it up. So here it is put together with the sl two slides. There you go. So here I am on the ninth fret, third, third string, right? On my ninth fret, third string, I'm going to do something different now. Up until this point, I've been in my, my ledger mark frets. I've been... All ledger mark notes. But now, I'm going to do...
I've moved to the next string down. I moved to my uh, second string, but now I've moved to the eighth fret. But I'm doing the same pattern by just moving out of my ledger marks. I'm going to go up to my ledger mark and my next ledger mark. Okay? So when I put it all together in the key of G, I'm going to be able to play lead to someone playing a song like this. Take that pattern and you can move it up to the A. You can move it up to the B. So you have bar chords, you have major chords, open chords, you have minor open chords, you have lead, a lead pattern that you can work into songs. It's a simple lead, I know. You can grow out of that. You can grow out of something simple. You can work on it. Uh, you can go on the internet and learn you know, more melodic and more intricate lead patterns. But this is going to get you started enjoying music, enjoying playing guitar. Um, now, next week we're going to look at, uh, I'm going to introduce to you a song. And what we're going to do next week is we're going to bring a song and we're going to put it on the, on the, on, on the screen and I'm going to slowly nurse you through the song. So next week you're going to actually play your first song you're going to actually play a song on the guitar. So we've had four weeks of guitar today. Next week is five weeks. So next week, you're going to start playing a song in just five weeks. You're going to be actually playing a song. So that's what we're going to get into next week is we're going to work on a song. We're going to get you to know that song. And uh, on... On the last lesson, uh, we're going to do something really special. Um, hopefully, it's going to encourage you like crazy on our, on our last lesson. Uh, I'm going to bring out a surprise. So uh, just keep up the work. Be steadfast, immovable, abounding. Just really just staying the course. Uh, guitar playing is awesome. It really is. It's something uh, that once you really get good at playing guitar, it's something you can do the rest of your life. As long as, you know, arthritis doesn't completely do you in. But um, I don't play as good as I used to. Uh, I know that, you know, over the years my wrists hurt and uh, certain things that just doesn't, uh, it's not as young. But I can still do it. And that means that if you're old, you can still learn to play guitar. As long as your fingers are semi-working. If you're young, <laughs> this is the beginning of an incredible journey if you're young. Because uh, you could really excel you know, by just using this these videos as a launch pad uh, to take off. So, the different guitars uh, next week, also part of the lesson next week, is I'm going to introduce to you a lot of different guitars, uh, different types of guitars, what those guitars are used for, and um, 
We'll see how that goes next week too. So God bless you. Stay the course. Be happy. And know that music is a, is a true gift from God. So cheerio.